My name's Jasmine Franks and I play Esther. And I'm Jimmy McKenna and I play Jack. So why do you think Esther didn't tell Jack or Frankie about the bullying? Um, well, I think with everything that was going on with the Osbournes at the time, with baby Oscar and with your heart attack, with Jack's heart attack, um, that she didn't want to put added pressure onto the family. She wanted to try and keep it to herself, see if she can handle it herself. And also, I think that Frankie and Jack were kind of misunderstanding Esther. They thought she was going off the rails a yeah, bit, turning yeah, yeah. into a moody teenager. When really she was just crying for help with Esther, her personality changed completely. She wasn't confident anymore. Because of the bullying, or because, yeah. yeah. And I think she was a lot. Well, her and Ruby were fighting, weren't yeah, they, more? Yeah, yeah. And that that should have been kind of picked up on, that kind of thing. How do you, as a father, as Jimmy, and also as Jack, how would I feel yeah, if, it, how if would it happened you feel? to my daughter? Yeah. Well, funnily enough, Natalie was, um, um, she's 36 nearly now, Natalie, but she, uh, she, was, she was bullied badly at school. She tried to cover it up, but Bev and I noticed that her behaviour was changing. Um, to the point where she wouldn't even clothes that we'd bought for her, she wouldn't wear them. This was when she was about 12, 13, 14, 15. When we became aware of it and started to support her and help her and, and, and try and explain to a young person who has never had that experience of anything really in life and suddenly you're getting bullied for no reason, um, a, your instinct is to protect your child first and foremost over anybody or anything else. But then you have to approach it, as we were discussing, in the right way. Sometimes it, your, your initial reaction is, is one of anger and, 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 and doing something about it. I think it's best to step back, count to ten, and go through the proper channels. That is talking about it, talking about it with your child, getting them to open up about it, and giving them as much emotional support as you possibly can and letting them know that you're definitely there for them, whatever happens, come hell or high water. And then going about the practical things to do about it, approaching people and talking about it. Mm. And, um, and that's, that, that's the start of getting it sorted out, I think. And that experience that Natalie had as a, as, a, as a wee girl when she was growing up certainly helped her. And I've never known anybody who's so ferociously against bullying of any kind as Natalie is now, and is very much able to stick up for herself and stick up for other people. And, that she sees in, in, in that situation that she experienced when she was young. For my generation, um, I really can't understand this fascination and this sometimes obsession that people have. And it's not just young people, I see people of, of lots of different ages nowadays. They're never off the phone. My daughter's never off the phone, the iPhones, twittering people, doing this and doing that. If the parent becomes aware of cyberbullying or any kind of a bullying, how do you think the parents can, can help? I'd say parents like should keep tabs on what the child's doing. I mean, I'd have hated to have said that when I was like 13, have my dad over my shoulder watching what I'm doing on the computer. I used to cancel the screen as soon as he walked in the bedroom. <laughs> but, um, but like, I do now. Like, think maybe not stand over your shoulder and everything, but just understand what's going on. Like, a child should be able to say, well, this is Twitter, this is what you can do. If someone's being an idiot to me, I can block them, yeah, I can yeah, do yeah. this. So I'm okay, I'm safe. And they can show them privacy settings. So like on Facebook, I have it on my Facebook that only my friends can see my profile. Right. So if anyone's like, search, searches me on the internet, yeah, my Facebook comes up, but nothing comes so up with it. they can't hack in or anything like that? No, or? they can't do that, but, um, so they can't see me. But with Twitter, it's more open. Mm, Everyone can mm. see your Twitter. Um, anyone can speak to you on Twitter. You can choose to ignore them or you can choose to write back. So it's like following kind of thing. From what you've learnt or, or the experience that you've gained through the storyline, what would you say to people? I'd definitely say they should go and talk to someone, more so family. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'd definitely say go and speak to parents, go and speak to grandparents, go and speak to anyone who you have a close relationship with, basically. Because, um, even if you just tell them, you don't have to tell them at all, just, just to confide in someone would make it a hell of a lot easier, I think. I know that like Beat Bully and have like the cyber mentors now, so you can go and chat to an anonymous person who's either in the same situation as you, who has been, mm. and you can chat to them um, anonymously. And it's better to be safe than sorry. 